It is now May of 2021 and 25 months ago in April of 2019 was my first NAB that I ever attended. From that moment on, my life was never again going to head in the same direction that it had been in so far and hopefully continuing. Now prior to that NAB in 2019, I was a barista and shift lead at Starbucks for at that point, roughly two and a half years, maybe a little less. Gave my wife and I our health benefits. I had stocks, which we'll talk about in a different video. Consistent pay. I moved up the chain pretty quick from barista to shift lead. I got to somewhat choose my hours, met some very interesting people. It also gave me just a little bit of extra time to have a very failed YouTube channel. Why I failed? Because I was pretending to be someone I wasn't. But by attempting this failed YouTube channel. I learned how to talk in front of a camera. I learned how to speak a little more coherently. I got to learn the daily grind that is being a content creator. I also got to be a bit more affluent in the gear that was specific to content creators. And then I started to also understand the idea and the nuances of working with a company from the creator side. Now in the February, March area of 2019 is when Small Rig reached out to me to be an advocate for their company at NAB. And they didn't just reach out to me, they reached out to others, but it provided me with a very important choice. Meaning it was an opportunity for me to choose. It wasn't so much an opportunity for me to just go because I didn't necessarily have the opportunity to be able to drop everything and just go for a week. I didn't really have much of an income at that point because again, I, I was still working at Starbucks and my wife was a teacher, still is even through all of COVID. So we didn't really have a lot of money, not to mention there's health bills for us and our dog who, God bless his soul, has a lot of issues. I didn't really have the ability to just go, yes, sign me on. What that yes would mean, I would have to not work for five days, at least spend money in getting there. And then I don't know what's gonna happen once I'm there because I've never been there. And I, remember, I had a very failed YouTube channel. So I was essentially no one. So it's not like I could ask for much. All I told them was pay for my stay, pay for my food, and I will say yes. I was only able to do that because of the tremendous support from my wife. I said yes. I had the opportunity to choose and I chose to say yes. And that's what this whole thing kind of boils down to. When life gives you the opportunities, to choose, you make the right choice. Because let's face it, you don't really get opportunities. Well, you do, but after you have made all of those right decisions. And that doesn't mean right for everyone, but right for you. And so I went to my first NAB in 2019 with Small Rig. Man, I was scared shitless. I was scared because I was technically gonna be representing a company. I was no longer going to be representing myself. They actually had me being the one who was getting interviewed by press companies. It blew my mind because it's like, guys, I don't even work for your company. I'm, I'm not actually getting paid to do this. You're having me do your interviews? It showed me how much value I was bringing to them. Not to say that like I was this huge thing, but that I was just unique enough that I held an inherent value. Life is about using your skills and your strengths to your pursuits. I decided to shut down my channel and make a run for being the face of Small Rig because at that time, no one no one really knew what anyone looked like. Like that NAB in 2019 was kind of like the first time any of the public saw any of the employees really. I made absolutely sure that my yes to be there was not just for that time to be the thing that they needed. <laughs> My degree is in history. I, I didn't really have any training in like marketing or advertising or anything like that. It just, it's, it was something that I realized right there. And I made sure I was on the top of all of their lists. And when they realized that they needed a face, I was the only face that they thought of. And the only reason that any of this was able to happen is because when I was presented with the opportunity to choose, I chose yes. And because of that choice, two months later, I was the global marketing specialist for a global company for Small Rig. 